you know, we'll say things like, you know, you'll never forget your son, your, your spouse. Um, they loved you very much. These things happen. It's not anyone's fault. And we'll say those kinds of things rather than saying things which people mean well, you know, and are not badly intentioned. But a lot of times when we tell people, um, I understand exactly how you feel or, um, you know, they've gone on to a better place. That's very hard for people at, at you know, this stage to hear. And in fact, it kind of makes them feel unsupported and that they can't really share what's going on with them. And so I think, again, to be able to really sit with someone, be with someone, to let them know that you under, not that you understand, but that you know that they are hurting and that you want to support them, even if it's sometimes just to be there with them and let them cry and to let them know that's okay. You can be there for them because I think that's so hard for so many of us. We feel like we should, um, in these circumstances, be strong and not show our grief and not burden other people. And I think it's a, it's a wonderful gift to a parent who's lost a child or a teenager to know that they can be with their feelings and you, so you as a supportive friend can be with them and, and you're really okay with that. They don't have to change who they are you know, in this time of loss.